Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show you the most important transactions regarding SAP Workflow or SAP Business Workflow. So with SAP Workflow you can automate repetitive tasks uh, using a workflow, um, so an automatic process and there is an area menu directly within the SAP system and that's the SWLD. Once you type in the ID of this area menu in the command field and hit the enter key, then you will open up the area menu regarding SAP Business Workflow. And it's really nice because there the most important transactions regarding workflow are grouped in different folders. So for example, here you have all the important transactions regarding definition tools, again grouped in some subfolders, uh, some transactions regarding runtime tools, regarding reporting, utilities, and so on. And by the way, if for example the transaction code is not listed or not shown at the beginning of this node, then under extras and then settings, you can set the setting display technical names and then right after that the t transaction code will be shown at the beginning so once again it's SWLD it's this area menu as we saw uh, a couple of seconds ago um, you can define your own start menu within the user profile so on the system and then user profile and user data or with the transaction code SU3 in the top defaults there you can yeah, maintain or set up your start menu and it's once again SWLD and then hit control S or hit the save button then you have saved this and then every time you call the start menu so for example after logging in this area menu will be shown if you would like to change back to the default menu S000 you can just once again open up the user profile data SU3 or system and then user profile and then user data and then you can change it back and of course now I would like to show you in my opinion the very most important transactions regarding SAP Business Workflow of course here are the very very important ones but of course we have the SW01 uh, because this transaction is regarding maintaining business objects so it's the business object builder here you can yeah maintain the the objects the interface types and then we have a very important transaction it's the SWDD and with this transaction you can open up the so-called workflow builder and by the way, um, I will produce a lot of videos regarding workflows, so please hit the subscribe button to yeah, follow the very important and interesting videos in the future because there I would like to explain you how you can create workflows, how you can maintain them, how you can analyze errors within workflows, how you can uh, insert ABAP coding and so on. So within this transaction, the workflow builder, you will basically maintain workflows itself. Then we have a very important transaction. It's the SBWP. It's the sub business workplace. And within here, basically, you have the ability yeah, to, to open up workflows. So they're grouped by different uh, categories. Um, and then you can yeah, basically open these workflows and execute them. Uh, the work items are assigned to you. By the way, if you are in the start menu, you can also open up the S. BWP with this button, SAP Business Workplace, or with the mentioned key combination, Control and F12, and then you also end up in the SAP Business Workplace. And then we have a very important transaction regarding administration of workflows. It's the SWIA. It's the yeah, transaction to process work item as an administrator. So basically, if you have uh, the ID of a work item, then you can execute, you can search, for different work items you can change the container if you have authorizations and so on i think based on administration this is the most important one then we have the um, sw U3 transaction code and this is basically a transaction regarding automatic workflow customizing by the way I think uh, yeah this node is one of the most important settings you have to make in order to guarantee that your workflow uh, in general works 
Uh, so basically this is set up by the SAP basis team, but you have also here some nice shown settings if the workflow in general is working or not. And then we move over to the SWUE. This is one important transaction basically if you would like to manually create an event. So basically what happens within the workflow system, the basically some yeah, events are triggered and then some follow up, up activities will come and execute some tasks or activities. And basically if you would like to, yeah, to test your workflow if you would like to um, make some troubleshooting and so on, you can use this very important transaction regarding creation of events. Then we will move over to the SWUD. And folks, please keep in mind this very, very important transaction code because basically here you have the ability to make some workflow diagnosis. And within here, yeah, you can verify the automatic customizing. Yeah, you can uh, do some troubleshooting regarding a task is not started, a workflow is hanging, and um, you can do some test environment. Uh, yeah, and so on. You always get a nice uh, information. Um, this is one of the most uh, important transactions regarding troubleshooting, regarding resolving uh, workflow errors, and so on. Keep this in mind. Then we have the SM12. I think this is a very important transaction to show log entries regarding tables to see yeah, if for example a workflow is still locking a table um, to troubleshoot also some issues within the workflow very important transaction and for example if you are in the development or quality system of course you could also do uh, or resolve the locks but just for developing and testing purposes you could also um, yeah, remove or delete these locks. Then there is the SARA transaction. In general, this is a very important transaction regarding archiving. So within here, you will start the archive administration. Keep this in mind. And then we have the SWI2 underscore diag. Uh, within here, you can access to work item analysis. So here, based on some selections, you can also do some, some tasks. You can analyze your work items and so on. And as mentioned, uh, if we move over to the, to the start, menu, there are so many more important transactions regarding SAP workflow. I just showed you, in my opinion, the most important one. And yeah, as mentioned, I will produce a very uh, important and useful videos in the future regarding SAP workflow. Uh, if you have some wishes, if you have some questions, put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get informed regarding the next videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.